This is animal Can you play with your ponies? We've always wanted to have a family of our own. It was always our desire to have kids. It took us a long time to get pregnant. Uh, it took us three years for Ava. I want to build something. Two years later, we had Macy. Boo. Eric was working out of town um, six days a week and was only home basically on Saturday and Sunday nights. And Blake happened one of those nights. <laughs> the first trimester was normal. Everything was great. On May 10th, we went in for just our 20-week um, scan ultrasound. I've had two other kids, so I've had other ultrasounds. So I know they kind of have fun with it and they kind of watch more and there was none of that. So I kind of knew something when he was off. And then that's when my doctor came in and said, I don't know how to tell you this, um, but there's something wrong with your baby. That's when he went on to tell me about um, that he has spina bifida, that there is fluid on the brain. He, his brain is being pulled back. Um, terms like this that I've never heard of before. Um, I just sobbed and cried. Once the fetus is diagnosed with a problem, what happens is that the coordinator from whatever hosp referring hospital will call Children's um, and will set up a appointment for us to be seen by the appropriate subspecialist. There are different people who know a lot about those different things. So by working as a team, you get that high level of knowledge across all those specialties that can be involved in something with, uh, with wide-reaching implications like spina bifida. And they can also decide where they want this baby to be delivered, how they want it taken care of. Um, so I think it really helps knowing ahead of time. And we give them a tour of the hospital, we show them where they're going to be. So we really want the family to be comfortable. I felt better. <laughs> I felt like we could do this. I felt like this is something we can overcome. There's still a lot of questions of what does this mean for our lives? How is this going to impact us? Um, how is this going to impact our family? What do we need to do? Um, a lot of questions still, but we left feeling hopeful. When the spinal cord forms during development in the womb, very early in the womb, it forms as a tube which rolls up from skin and then detaches from the skin. What's uh, myelomeningocele, the spina bifida, is when that bottom part of the tube doesn't break free from the attachment and stays open to the skin. There's four levels of your spine and his is the lumbar level. Most commonly with this type of lesion level we see kids that don't have feeling from waist down. We don't really know exactly what type of care he'll need and a lot of that we won't know until birth. His room is ready. Clothes are bought. Diapers. We have some diapers ready. Ava is very excited. She will tell you that he has spina bifida. That's him. There he is. There's his spine. He has a boob on his back. Where is he right now? Yeah. I'll bake in there. I saw you were up early this morning. 3.50. So today we are going to deliver Megan's baby by cesarean. Oh man, that's a waiting game. Just waiting and waiting patiently. A little nervous. It's kind of intense. It's getting more real, but uh, yeah, we'll get through it. <laughs> we'll see you after. This is when we're going from the OR to the NICU. Um, maybe we'll be able to have family come and see him, and they'll have you guys sign consents for Children's Hospital. They need consent to transport him. Just see you a little later. See that pain? We're gonna go right out and around this way, guys. There's still kind of the unknown factor of not knowing what to expect once he goes to children's. We'll keep you informed as much as we can the whole time. Uh, I know they're in good hands, so there's not too much to worry about. When they have spina bifida, you do not want them to be delivered vaginally because you don't want to disrupt the defect. Right now, the baby's breech. We're gonna probably have to do a classical C-section, which is safer for the baby and probably better for Megan as well. Coming out backwards. Yep. There, there he is. is. Our job is to deliver the baby safely and then... Look real quick. Look up here. And we hand the baby off to the people here. They stabilize the baby, get everything set, and it's seamless. It's one of the great things about working here and being hooked up with children's here is that, you know, we do our job and then it goes right down the line. Everybody does theirs and you have a baby who gets the best care possible. I know. It's nice and pink. Breathing on his own, always has. Good. Got a little dressing over his defect, and Dad's got a picture he can show you. So we'll see you down there, okay? Okay. 
Hey everybody, this is Becky Meyer. We are bringing back this little boy, Blake Monfer, who uh, is a mild meningitis seal, and we'll be back to the NICU in a few minutes. It takes a village, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> said he's got big hands. Yeah. Yeah. How pretty his hair is. Oh, look at his hair. You like him? Awesome. I keep getting a little teary. It was nice for the family to be able to see him. He's doing good and yeah, we're happy. It's the best possible outcome. Oh, then they can get their action. Your IV looks good, buddy. This pot now is definitely nice and really cool. Okay, you're good. Thank you, sir. I'm going to say get this other Paul socks because somebody opened it. Okay. So it'll be his. See ya. Bye. Thanks. Yep. Thank, Thank you, man. See ya. You ready? There you go. Alrighty, Mama. Bring him to this side. You like them? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get going. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. Sorry about the taking from you, but we'll be in there. It's good meeting you. Yeah, Take like care of him. <laughs> good? Yep. Times of the beds. That would be great. I'm sorry. It's not working at all. Hi Plan guys. is to go to the OR tomorrow and repair. He's scheduled for first case tomorrow morning. First? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to okay. talk to the mom. Um, she's over at Riverside still. Uh -huh. Yeah. All of his vitals at first glance look perfect to me. We have really 72 hours to perform this surgery close the defect back up and protect his central nervous system from infections and, and all the other possible problems that can arise from it. The advantage that we have here is when we see mothers prenatally before and, and time everything properly, have a, a, a healthy delivery, uh, we can get them to our hospital stabilized and ready to go to the OR you know, within hours and, and that will be the case for him. Okay, so the neurosurgical aspect of a closure of an open myelomeningocele is identifying the open spinal cord which is attached to abnormal skin, separating it from the abnormal skin, dropping it down into the spinal canal, trying to roll it together if it will come closed, if not that's okay, then defining the dura, the layer covers the entire brain and spinal cord, which is also stuck to the skin, identifying that boundary, separating it from the skin, dropping it down, bringing it together closed, and suturing it watertight so that the spinal fluid stays in and doesn't leak out. From my perspective, I think uh, there was a good border between the spinal cord and skin and good layers, and I have, my perspective went fine. It was straightforward for me. We're just ready to get our, get our family started, get through all the hurdles. We consistently heard he's doing great. He's doing great. I really want to hold, hold them bad. Having the multiple layers closed, so having the spinal contents back where they should be, but then also having the layers of muscle and skin over top will make that repair more robust. So it won't be as thin, it won't tend to break down, it'll actually be stronger in the long run. I think everything went really nicely and smoothly. That it's always a pleasure working with the neurosurgery team here. Gives our patients better care to have uh, multidisciplinary care. Hi. I'm Dr. Spade. Um, nice to meet you. I work with Dr. Greg Vernali. I'm yep. one of the plastic surgeons. Everything went well as far as the closures. So if you kind of look at where your spine is, you've got muscles on either side. Uh -huh. And then there was the skin and the middle part was stretched out. He's yeah. got an incision that's about nine centimeters long, which doesn't sound very long, but on a little little yeah. guy is long. <laughs> if there's if there's kind of progress or anything, that will be updating you guys. Megan will be happy to hear it. Hey. Okay, I um, talked with the plastic surgeon. Um, she said everything went fine. Said he's going back up to his room. Okay, when do you get to see him? 
um, as soon as I get off the phone with you and go up the elevator. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but our hope is that give him a chance to wake up from anesthesia, that he can come off the ventilator. Couldn't oh. really ask for anything better. All the doctors said he did fine. He's doing yeah. fine now. It's just recovery. Discharged nostrils today, and we came straight here and got to hold him for the first time. It feels amazing. I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> He's healing really well. Doing well. Back seems to be well, and the nurses have been amazing and awesome, and very caring and informative, and, and the care has been great. He's actually doing very well. He's recovering from both of his surgeries. The cerebral spinal fluid is made in the brain, and it typically drains out kind of the back and the bottom of the brain but that drainage can become blocked um, just with the spina bifida. So that's why we have to put the shun in to bypass that and uh, allow it to drain a different way. And so he has loops of tubing in his abdomen and that's where the fluid drains into his belly so that his body can just reabsorb all the fluid and the things that are in the fluid that's actually good for him. He doesn't move his legs much. Well, now we're just waiting for him to gain some weight and do some of the things so that he's ready to go home. Hey mom, how are you? Good. He looks good, he looks good. He I does. saw that he gained weight last night. Blake's been here for two weeks now. I'm here just hanging out with him and cuddling with him and he's doing great. Nursed for him for the first time yesterday, that was awesome. Very excited to take him home. <laughs> the biggest thing he'll need at home, medical wise, is cathing. So we've been learning how to cath him on our own. Um, I've practiced a couple times. We're ready for him to come home. Uh, it seems like a lot of the nurses and doctors have almost treated Blake like their own kid. Nurses have been awesome. Um, they're like angels. <laughs> They've been very encouraging as far as getting us involved in his cares and being more hands-on. He's feeling really good. Um, he looks great. Back's looking great. Just glad to be getting home. Yeah. So the whole family's Congrats. coming over tonight. Congratulations. So, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let's take the wires off. Yeah. All you have to do is sign down here. Okay. You want me to do the honors? Thank you for all your care. Bring him in to visit when you. Okay. Yes. We're in here. We're good. Pretty good. It's a good day. <laughs> Ready to go yes. home, yeah. My three year old's excited. Papers and hands are out of here. <laughs> We're here at Milo Clinic at Nationwide Children's uh, just for his first round of checkups. Milo Clinic is kind of a long day, but it's wonderful that we have a whole team for the kids to see. When he comes, he sees a developmental pediatrician, a urologist, orthopedist, neurosurgeon, occupational physical therapy, social work if needed. We also have neuropsychology for when he gets older. I've been excited for today just to make sure we're doing things right. <laughs> today for me is more of getting to know the doctors, who they are, kind of build that relationship. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you too. I'm a hugger. Okay, That's so fine. Um, I'm from neurosurgery and I'm a nurse practitioner. I work with Dr. Governale and the whole team. My job is to work with the surgeons and if I see anything that's wrong, then I go and talk to them. This looks amazing. Okay, good. It does. And I'm gonna check his shunt while we're here today. He's at 1.0. See? Wow. Yep. That's Fabulous. good. That's where we want it. Is it's that where you want lovely. It? What's nice about the clinic is when they come, they see other children and other families that they can meet. Um, and it's very helpful to kids of different ages and different function. And I think that's really fun. But we're, we're here for you. I'm serious. We're here for you. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Blake, can you get a bath? 
Well, Blake's four months old now. He's gone through a couple surgeries. And they had to adjust his shot, kind of monitor that in clinic um, to make sure the fluid doesn't build up to unacceptable levels. Now it kind of seems like things are on an even keel, so we can kind of concentrate more on the baby and not his disability. Some days are hard, some weeks are harder than others, but for the most part it's just been joyful, it's been fun, and we've been enjoying him a lot. Are you walking now? Yeah. yeah. Care right now really is um, the physical therapy, um, going to Milo Clinic um, every three months at this point. He has a lot of hip movement, which has been really encouraging to the doctors. Um, his plastic surgery surgeon doctor really didn't expect to see that. So we're ho very hopeful that maybe he could walk with, with help. Um, we're praying for that. Hi. Oh. Everybody around just loves on him as if nothing was wrong. I think the support from the fetal medicine group has been, been really great. I think it would have been a lot harder to go through the pregnancy and everything we were going through without them because I felt like, I really did feel like I could call them anytime I had a question and it was always answered right away. They don't really miss a beat. It's kind of a, a s seamless transition from doctor to doctor. It's a great thing that we do in Columbus. It's nice to have all the different hospitals together because we actually We'll discuss cases and we can learn from each other. Everybody benefits from this. I just hope Blake's happy. I hope he's content with who he is. Since he was born, he's been having surgeries and he's been fighting and I want him through the rest of his life to continue to fight. He has parents and sisters and the whole family to support him and kind of cheer him on. We wouldn't have it any other way. Ready? Well, he's very unique and, um, you know, it's part of the reason why we we love him even more. There's not another Blake anywhere. <laughs> <laughs>